What sold on eBay? <sighs> hey, Bluegrass, can we go thrift shopping? Hello, YouTube world. My name is Anthony Long. Welcome back to the Bluegrass Picker Channel. Sure glad you did. What sold on eBay? $24.95 off to Ohio. I bought this in a lot, a YouTube auction, a bunch of vintage toys. Uh, so I don't have very much into it. This almost pays for the entire lot. Wheel of Fortune for Xbox 360. Um, it does have the manual, does have the manual. $14.95. Surprising what I'll actually sell for that. This is a cool trucker hat. Nice color on it. The red cord. Flat brim. Short brim. Uh, new old stock. I mean, it has... I don't think it's been worn. Even though it has some stains on it. I just closed it. I hope they saw it. And then, you know, the phone's been taken out. And it's a K brand made in the USA, and that's why it sold. Um, $24.95 off to Oklahoma. I'll go through these first ones a little quick because a lot of these five to ten dollar sales on cards probably no one cares about. But it's nice to know that some of this stuff sells. I don't I can't, I can't believe some of this stuff sells. But this is cool about football. Um, major league sports, uh, major league professional sports is they were even good in college and even if they got to the professional level to get a card they were really good in college so someone even in those places where they went to college level in high school want the card that's what i found over time because look at this 595 for a chief's kicker rookie really <laughs> thank you uh i listed excited Thought it was kind of funny. I was like, well, it's a rookie. Let's see what it sells. People love that Panini Select. And they do. Adrian Peterson, five bucks. Uh, that's a pretty good version, but, you know, surprising. Went to New York. DJ Moore, it's two of the same card. It's his rookie, but he's not the best player in the world. Seven bucks. Um, they offered to me, and I had, I had it for nine ninety five. dollars Didn't think it'd sell. This is a nice card. DJ Chark. I thought this one would sell. It's a nice one. It's a nice hologram. These are prisms. These are always worth more, of course. And um, it's his rookie. He's pretty good. Jacksonville Jaguars, they're going to be good too. And so there's probably people positioning themselves to buy some of the players before the Jaguars draft, most likely Trevor Lawrence. So that team's on the up and up. So it's a smart idea. I'm just trying to get through them because I can buy card breaks for 15 bucks and get a bunch of great cards, so that's why I turn and burn, uh, but that's a cool card. Not surprised that's old. Bobby Witt Jr., it's his rookie, Bowman Best. They're a cool little normal, this is just their base, and it's a cool little refractor, so it's a nice card. They don't go as much as the Bowman Chrome or Topps Chrome, um, and it went for $17.95. I've got a few of these. And that one wasn't great, wasn't gradable. I mean, it was probably a nine, but I'm going to only try to send in tens. Um, and I've got a few of those, and I think that's the last one I'm going to sell. I have a speckled one that's a really rare one, Atomic. I think it's called Atomic Speckle. Um, let's see. Someone bought two cards at the same time. First one is a cool. It's an N from the Cardinals on the front of Albert Pujols' jersey. And it's actually, if you can see it there, 1 of 35. And whenever ever it's the first one of the run, it's worth more money. And it's only 35. Usually it's 25, 50, or 100. Um, so it's a little different. Um, and it's a bigger patch. And it's a pretty thick card. But if you can see it too on the bottom, there's some chipping. And I had it up for 129 Guy sent me eighty-one dollars, and he said, "Hey, there's some chipping on there. Would you, would you take um, this eighty-one on my, you know, because I only bought it for like forty bucks. I think I thirty bucks. Like, yeah, that's fine. So I took it eighty-one dollars. Um, I think that's a really great sale. Um, uh, pool stuff is just flying off the shelf right now. Actually, that wasn't the 
this person bought two of the same thing and they were from California um, and since he's out in California now and this one is the eye on the Cardinals patch which is really rare I this is one of the only ones I found of it back in the day and uh, it was a bat piece relic too and it's 31 of 50 which makes it pretty rare it's 2005 so it's like his fourth year but um, what did this sell for Boy, I forget I have to put it up on the screen I guess I think it was 79.95 and they bought this Albert Pujols upper deck rookie for 69.95 the foil down there on the on the card, almost none of them are very good, so they just don't get a very good grade. And that's what you find out too about it's not it's not just great to get a PSA ten every time, because um, sometimes the cards are just that good. There's a lot of PSA tens, but there's some cards like that one. If it comes a PSA ten, it's so hard to get. But so this is not gradable. Um, but it went for sixty nine ninety five, and I bought most of these were all about thirty bucks back when I bought them or less. Another one, um, this one was uh, in good shape. It's still with that foil, still a little messed up, but I had it for a little bit pricier because it's real sharp. $74.95, sold to California. Um, these are just some of the things that sold this weekend. Um, had a pretty good weekend, 14 sales. Um, I'll take, you know, I like to have a mix of $50 to $100 items, and I like to have some 5 to 10s, and I don't mind those selling because... Sometimes it brings them in to, to buy other things. Um, but uh, grind on, friends. Thank you. By Led Zeppelin. Stay tuned.